Thank you, Mr. President. I would ask for a moment of personal privilege here this morning. Granted. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to read off four names to the members and, and um, ask that you think a little bit about them and their families. Colleen O'Connor, Benjamin Grant, Sylvia Crowell, and Marge Kohlberg. Uh, all four of these individuals were brutally murdered on December 14th, 1993. When you think about uh, Colleen Rose now, I've taken a lot of the stories from the Denver Post archive articles. <clears throat> Colleen Rose O'Connor is remembered by her aunt, Mary McNally, as a bright, burning, excited kind of person. I just talked to her the day before, said a stunned Jason Garvin, one of her classmates at Eagle Crest High School, where she was a senior. I liked her. She was outspoken and friendly. She was anxious to get through school and go to college and make her mom proud. Sylvia Kathleen Crowell was, 19, was a 19-year-old Gateway High School graduate, a devout Mormon, church choir member, and president of the church youth group. Quote, Sylvia was like a magnet, said Laura Pierce, whose father was Crowell's bishop. In high school, she said, quote, friends would come and cut into Sylvia's studying and sleeping time. She would then stay up and study and read her scriptures and get to bed very late, even when she had seminary early in the morning. 17-year-old Smoky High School junior Benjamin Grant was so full of life and everybody knew it, a caring son and brother, loving boyfriend, determined wrestler, devout friend, and sometimes ornery student. Sounds like my kind of guy. That's, that's the way the kids, family, and friends remember him. His 14-year-old sister Tiffany said, Quote, not only was he my big brother, he was my best friend in the whole wide world. It's going to be hard without him. Seeing that empty space in his room isn't going to be easy. And then finally, 50-year-old Marge, or Margaret Kohlberg, was the night manager at Chuck E. Cheese that night. Mel Kohlberg, her husband, told his friends and neighbors that his 17 years of marriage to Marge were, quote, worth every second of it. He even joked about the couple falling in love instantly, although he admits now that it took a couple of weeks. He was overwhelmed by the support of the number of people from all areas of our lives who showed up to offer their support. There have been a lot of stories in the media here lately about uh, the pending execution of their murderer and, and the wrangling going around that, and that's a serious subject, it really is, but I thought it was appropriate this morning that we think about these folks. Those kids today would be 37 and 39 years old. It was all taken away from them and their families. And I sure hope that, even though it's a tough thing to do, that we do the right thing in this state and that the governor follows through with the justice that is deserved here. Thank you, Mr. President and members, for your time.